local gymnast and Milwaukee Hamilton High School graduate joins us to talk about the Olympics. Marvin Kimball is a gymnast who just missed this year's team. Thank you for joining us. Tell us, when did you first get started in gymnastics? Uh, it was around 2004, 2005, so uh, that January, I think my mom signed me up. So I've been in it for 11 years now, and it's been pretty fun. So. But yeah, you sure. had to be inspired by watching the Olympics, right? I mean, oh, yeah. So uh, actually, I watched the Olympics that fall, and that's the Olympics that Paul Hom oh, won. Yeah, uh -huh. So I was like, it really inspired I me. And then when I, yeah, yeah, something <laughs> kind of like that, you know? And it really inspired me to go and, like, get into a gym and, like, start going getting after it because it was just amazing to see what does it take though to get to that <sighs> level the olympics for training lots and lots of hours i mean this past year i don't think i've trained so much in my whole entire life it was just insane like, like what's a, tell us an average day uh average day would probably be going wake up in the morning get breakfast walk to the gym uh practice for about two and a half hours okay. uh have a little break, go back to practice, practice like two and a half to three more hours, strength at the end, and it's just, it was just crazy. Day it's in, day out. Day yeah. in, every day. So what motivates you? I mean, what, I mean, obviously that dream to go to the Olympics, but what's your, what's your motivation? Uh, my family. My family does it a lot, so that's, that's one of the biggest motivations for me. Also, I'm just like really competitive, so I just don't like to lose. That's also another, another, uh, do you motivation. Have, do you have 2020 on yep. inside? Yep, right there. Already rolling on the wall, ready for, ready to go, ready for it. What do you think of this year's team? Uh, strong team. I mean, what they did uh, a couple days ago in the prelims, they look, they look amazing. So, I'm just excited to see what they got for finals. I mean, the women look stronger than the men here. Or what do you think? <laughs> Simone. Uh, the, the women are always going to do their thing, no matter what. <laughs> so. <laughs> For us, it's a little, you gotta work for it a little more. I mean, the girls are doing an excellent job, don't get me wrong, but. Have you met Simone? Do you know Simone? Yeah, I'm, I've met them all. Uh, uh, she was actually Snapchatting me a little earlier today, so she's, cool. she's getting prepared for tomorrow. She's excited. And like you said, it, it, takes, it takes a lot, but the men's team, what you've seen thus far, uh, who's the big competition for USA? Uh, I would say either Japan or China, uh, just because. Japan won the last Worlds and China won the last Olympics, so you just got to look out for those guys. How do you compete knowing that the margins are so thin? I mean, mm. you, you can't make yeah. mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just got to trust your training pretty uh, much yeah. and just don't try not to pay attention to the scores and all that stuff, especially while you're competing out there on the floor. It's just like you want to be safe. That's mm -hmm. the number one thing, so you just got to focus on that. It is awesome to talk yeah. to you. We really appreciate in. your yeah, insight. No problem. no problem. 2020, we'll see you there. Oh, yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, we'll have much more Olympic coverage coming up uh, as we follow the games. You can